So I'd like to show you guys how to use uh, options within Lumion. They are quite useful to show, for instance, how a building would be built up in stages. To demonstrate this or to illustrate this, I've got three different 3D views all showing a building in various stages of construction. And uh, the way that this was done was very simply by clicking on an item and hiding it uh, within a view. Uh, the, there I'm doing it in reverse, unhiding, and then there you can see hide in view category that would switch all of the roofs off. And so I've got three different models where various items have been hidden within that view. These we will write out into Lumion. I'm going to call this O1 for option 1. <coughs> Excuse me. O2 for option 2. And O3 for option 3. Within Lumion, we'll bring the files in as usual. We'll import the DAE file, there's option 1. Can place that. Just move it up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to place two buildings down, or two models in here. The reason for that will become apparent very shortly. I'm going to build the one in uh, forwards and the other one I'm going to deconstruct. So one I'm going to construct, the other one I'm going to deconstruct. Um, and that's just what we're going to do. So for this model, I can add a variation and then I would load option two. and there would be one more variation, option 3. <coughs> what I'm going to do next is once again place a model this time I'm going to choose option 3 which is the finished item and for option 3 the variation I'm going to add is option 2. I'll just underscore that 2. And there we go. The last one will be option 1. And underscore that with 2 as well. Great. So we've got two models, uh, each with three variations in total, or the original model and two variations, <coughs> and that's fine. Let's just move that model up a little bit. There we go. And closer to this one. There we go. Right, so now we can compare these two against each other. Let's create a quick movie, record, let's find a good vantage point, and take two pictures, maybe add a little bit of time between them. Ten. Eight seconds should be plenty. Let's have a look. Yeah, that should be plenty. Right. And add an effect. 
the effect will be a variation control and with a variation control I'm going to add three keyframes one at the beginning one towards a third and another one at two thirds so what we can say is at keyframe one we'd like the current variation to be at one and then at keyframe two we're going to have the variation at two and at keyframe three which we haven't got yet it's created so it is one so at the beginning it's one then it's going to be two and then it's going to be three there we go one two three hover over the effect and you can see that there's a linear progression and that's fine <coughs> so for this one we're going to start with the model on the left here and let's see what that happens so at the beginning it's not built then you can see how it kicks in before the keyframe but if you time it correctly you'll see that you've got your progression going so a little bit before sort of halfway in between the keyframes it switches the model and then we can also add another model there you can see how the one is being constructed and the other one is going to deconstruct that's one way to show a sequence within Lumion or maybe some variations in design that you'd like to show your clients well I hope you've enjoyed this session of Lumion and Revit and version control I think it's a great tool and I hope you enjoy using it until next time, enjoy Revit, enjoy Lumion.